The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 21 and 22. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on July 18th, 1973, in London, England. Translation Arjuna said, O infallible one, please draw my chariot between the two armies so that I may see who is present here, who is desirous of fighting, and with whom I must contend in this great battle attempt. Before this, Krishna was uh, addressed as Rishikesha. Rishikesha, we have explained. Now, Krishna is addressed here of Chuta. Chuta means fallen. But Achyuta means not fallen. Just that we are fallen. We are fallen conditioned souls. In this material world, we have come with a enjoying spirit. Therefore, we are fallen. If one keeps his position rightly, he does not fall. Otherwise, he is degraded. That is fallen condition. So, all the living entities within this material world, beginning from Brahma down to this small insignificant ant, they are all fallen, fallen conditioned souls. Uh, why they are fallen? Krishna bhulya jeevi bhogavan cha kare, pasete maya tare japotiya dhare. Fallen means when the living entities are under the clutches of this material energy, that is called fallen. Just like a man, when he is under police custody, it is to be understood that he is a criminal. He is fallen. Uh, he has fallen down from good citizenship. Similarly, we are all parts and parcels of Krishna. Mamai Mamsa Jiva Bhuta. So, as part and parcel, our position is to live with Krishna. Uh, just like this is my finger, part and parcel of my body, the finger must remain attached with this body. When this finger is cut off and fallen, Although it is finger, it is no longer as important as it was formerly when it was attached with this body. So anyone who is uh, not attached with the service of the Supreme Law, he is fallen. Uh, this is the conclusion. But Krishna is not fallen. If Krishna, because he comes to reclaim us, yadāyadāhi dharma sagrāni bhavati bhārata, abhuttānam adharmas tadātmānam sijāmi aham. Krishna says that I appear when there is discrepancies in the, uh, I mean to say, occupational duties of the living entity, dharma sagrani bhavati. We don't translate dharma as religion. 
religion in the English dictionary, it is a kind of faith. Faith can be changed. But dharma is a word which cannot be changed. If it is changed, it is to be understood artificial. Let's say the water. Water is liquid, everyone knows. But sometimes water becomes hard, very hard. Ice. But that is not the natural uh, position of water, artificially, on account of excessive cold, or by artificial means, the water becomes solid. But the real position of water is liquidity. So when we are uh, detached from the service of the Lord, this is also unnatural. Unnatural. Natural position is that we must be engaged in the service of the Lord. That is our natural position. Uh. <coughs> Therefore, the Vaishnava Kavi says, the Krishna Bhulya Jeev Bhagavan Shakari. When a living entity uh, forgets Krishna, forgets Krishna's position, Krishna's position, Krishna says, Bhoktaram Jagadabhasam, Saralvuka Maheshtaram, I am the proprietor, I am the enjoyer. Uh, this is the Krishna's position. He never falls down that position. Krishna is enjoyer. He keeps all as that position. He never falls down. He never comes to the position of being enjoyed. That is not possible. If you want to bring Krishna on the position of being enjoyed, then you are defeated. Oh. Being enjoyed means uh, keeping Krishna in front. I want to get some profit of sense gratification. Uh, that is uh, our unnatural position. Krishna will never agree. Uh, Krishna will never agree. Krishna cannot be enjoyed. He is always enjoyed. He is always the proprietor. So Krishna Bhulya Ji means when we forget this position of Krishna, that He is the supreme enjoyer. He is the supreme proprietor. Uh, this is called forgetfulness. As soon as I think that I am enjoyer, I am proprietor, this is my fallen state. Krishna Bhulya Jeev Bhagavan Chakari. When we, the Japutiya Dhare, Maya, immediately Maya captures. Therefore, a conditioned soul, fallen conditioned soul, is struggling for existence. He is trying to be enjoyer, he is trying to be proprietor. That is his artificial way of life. Uh, just like if a woman wants to become a man, that is her artificial position. She may dress herself as a man, just like in Western countries sometimes we see uh, woman is artificially dressing like man, with her coat pants, riding on horse, uh, that, that is artificial. So similarly, our position here in this material world is artificial. We are trying to imitate a man. Actually, the living entities are described in the Bhagavad-gītā, prakīti. 
prakriti means woman and purush means man so the living entities are never described as purusha purusha is krishna purusha sasata when arjun say param brahma param dhama pavitram param bhavan purusham sasatam adyam purusham sasat krishna is all is purusha god cannot be female god is all is male purusha and we are prakriti that is described in the bhagavad gita aparayam itastu vidhimi prakritim para after describing the material energy bhumi rapa nalo vayu art water air fire this material this is also female prakriti female means we have got in india we have got little experience the female is always controlled female is never given the position of controller now it is it is going on ah uh, just like india gandhi he has given the position of control this is artificial in the history of india greater india mahabharat is never find that the oman has been given the position of controller no it is not possible uh, we have to take things from the shastra the bhagavad gita also oman position has been uh, equated with shudra स्त्रियाशुद्रा तथा वैश्या स्त्री यांती परांगती द पोजिशन मस्ट बी असर्ट बट दिस पोजिशन इज आर्टिफिशियल हियर आइदर ओ मैन और मैन देयर इन आर्टिफिशियल पोजिशन बिकॉज ए ओ मैन मे बी इन ओ मैन ड्रेस बट her mind is like man uh, she also wants to enjoy and the others the so called man the so called man is also not man he is o man prakriti aparayam itastu vidhimi prakriti para prakriti as the earth water air fire sky they are also controlled the supreme controller is krishna similarly the so called man or woman in this material they are also controlled nobody can say that i am not controlled who is here you must be controlled oh that for we see two prakriti para prakriti and apara prakriti but all of them are controlled none of them are the controller and that is the difference between purusha and prakriti purusha means controller and prakriti means control purusha means predominate and prakriti means predominate this is the difference so krishna does not fall from his position of predominator therefore he is addressed as otchuto otchu sena hmm. ruhar madhe ratha sthapaya me otchuto anada meaning of ochita krishna is the supreme personality of god and arjuna no 
that I am not controller. I am controlled. He is devotee. He knows his position. Therefore, uh, he is now con- trying to control Krishna. He is ordering Krishna. Sena erobar madde ratam sthapaya. My dear Krishna, he is not addressing as Krishna. Ochu. Now, you place my chariot between the two parties. This is order. That means Arjuna becoming controller. And Krishna becoming control. That's the opposite. Therefore, Arjuna knows he is subordinate position and he is ordering to Krishna. So indirectly he is begging to be excused. My dear Krishna, I cannot order it. Order must come from you. But because you promised to carry out my order, you wanted to become my chariot driver. Therefore I am ordering. Therefore I am ordering. I am, no, I am not in position of ordering to you. And you promised to carry out my order, and I think you are uh, fixed up in your that promise. Therefore I am asking you, Uchu You don't fall from your promise. This is it. Senaya Ruhar Madhya Ratham Sthapayami Uchu The next point is that Arjuna wanted to see with whom he had to fight. He had no desire to fight. That will be explained. He was fighting unwillingly. Uh, unwillingly. Because he is a Vaishnava. Unnecessarily he does not want to kill. Although he is Kshatriya, it is his duty. Uh, whenever there is discrepancy, killing. As representative of Krishna. Krishna has got two business. Puritrana and sadhana, vinasaya to dhushkita. He has got two business. One business is to give protection to the devotees, sadhu. Sadhu. Sadhu means devotee. Sadhu does not mean simply by changing dress, saffron color, and smoking biri. That is not sadhu. Uh, sadhu means devotee. Uh, one who is devotee, that is explained in many shastras, sadhava sadhu bhujana. Sadhu bhujana. Uh, Titikshava karunika. Suhidam sadhu bhutana. Ajato sattava shanta sadhava sadhu bhujana. This is the qualification of sadhu. Uh, sadhu is titikshava, tolerates all kinds of miserable conditions. He is sadhu. Because this is a place of miserable conditions. A sadhu learns how to tolerate. Sadhu is never disturbed. Uh, just means sita, guru nāpi dukhena no vichālati. A sadhu who has got the shelter of Krishna, uh, if he is placed in the severest type of dangerous condition, he is never disturbed. Just like Kullar Maharaj, his father was putting him in so many dangerous conditions. Uh, even he was supplied with poison. He knew that my father has given me poison to be. Hold on. If it's not like he'll say, I am now put into this dangerous position, I have to drink. A father is giving poison, who can check? And such a big, powerful Hiranyakasipu, uh, the mother cry requested. She, 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 he forced the mother, like, Mother, give your son this poison. Uh, 
تو سید به سوال برشی ها دید رشت کرد سیمان نایی مستی سو مالر نیو دیسن نیو دیدی رشت کرد فارا ایز دیم این دیدر پایز what can you do small child all right let me drink guru nabi to pain on nabi child not hesitating all right a krishna like i like uh, this is the position of sadhu he is not distracted pitik sabha in all circumstances he is tolerant very sadhu sadhu does not become distracted uh, At the same time, Karunika. Uh, he is himself disturbed, but he is merciful to others. Uh, just like Jesus Christ. He is being crucified, and he is still his merciful. God, these people do not know what they are doing. Please excuse them. Uh, this is how. Uh, he is personally being disturbed by the demand, but still he is merciful to the general people. They are suffering for want of Krishna consciousness. So even up to the point of death he is trying to preach Krishna consciousness. Let the people be benefited. Ah, what is this material body? Even if I am killed, I am not killed, this body is killed, that's all. This is sadhu. Pitiks of all karmi. In one side he is tolerant and other side must go. The material world when one man is disturbed, he cannot do any beneficial work for any other. He is disturbed. I am very much disturbed. Don't talk with me. No. But sadhu still goes on benefiting the people in the world. Pitiks of all karmi. And what kind of benefit? The so-called rascal humanitarian work? No. Sridam Sarvabhutana. He is beneficial to all kinds of living. Not this rascal land. Ah. Dharidra Narayan. Just like one rascal has manufactured it. Dharidra Narayan. The poor man has become Narayan, and the goat Narayan is key for the activity. Not this kind of sadhu. Sri Dharma sadhu bhuta. A sadhu who will not allow any kind of killing. See, in the Christian religion, it is first invention is, thou shalt not kill. If you want to become religious, they are simply killing. And still they are claiming Christian. What kind of Christian? Simply their business is killing. So it is very difficult to find out a Christian, although they are claiming and Christian. It is very difficult. Because their business is killing. And Lord Jesus Christ ordered, first order is thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not go away. Who is falling? The sadhu is Sri Dham Sarvutana. Why he should allow animal killing? They are also living entities. But for their benefit, the so-called sadhu says the animal has no soul. What is this nonsense? Animal has no soul. Why? Why animal and what is the difference between animal and man? Uh, what are the symptoms of possessing the soul? They are all equal. Uh, the man also eats, the animal also eats. The man also sleeps, the animal also sleeps. The man also has sex life, the animal also has sex life. The man also defends, the animal also defends. So where is the deficiency that you say the animal has no soul? Huh? Imperfect knowledge or uh, making adjustment for their own benefit. Huh? Now they are yeah. making correction. Thou shall not kill, thou shall not murder. Huh? 
That means it will come to human being. But the actual commandment is thou shalt not kill. But these Christian people, they are making some uh, amendment. Thou shalt not murder. Because murder will apply to the killing of human beings. But Lord Jesus Christ never said like that. Thou shalt not kill. It is applicable both for human beings and for animals, or even for trees. Unnecessary you cannot kill. That is sadhu. Sri Dhamma Saru Bhutana. Don't kill my brother, but you can kill my neighbor. Not like that. He is not sadhu. Sadhu is kind to all living entities. Krishna consciousness means to become kind to everyone. Therefore we say no meat eating. Meat eating means killing the animal. Killing the animals. Why you shall kill animals? You have to take Krishna prasadam, patram puspam phalam toyam jumi vakta pujukshati, tadaham asnami. Krishna says, Krishna is God. He can eat everything. Everything. Krishna is fire, you know. Uh, there was forest fire in Vrindavan. The all the Cowards, boys, they become very much frightened. Krishna, yes, I am ready. He ate up all the fire. So for Krishna, he could eat anything he likes. He is God. But still he recommends, patram kusvam phalam toyam jumi bhakti abhadichya. Why? Because we have to take Krishna's prasadam. So therefore, he is recommending these things he can give me. Patram, Putram, Phalam, So that, uh, that is our food. Uh, we are devotees of Krishna. We are meant for eating the remnants of food star offered to Krishna. That is our Jiva hmm? if you want to conquer the tongue, then you fix up your mind that uh, you shall not take anything which is not offered to Krishna. Then your tongue will be controlled. Tāramadde jīva bhāvati loho māya sudurmati. Tongue is the bitterest enemy of the living. The tongue is dragging uh, jīva bhāv. Uh, kindly give me this uh, immediately. Kindly give me this wine. Yen immediately. Kindly give me this tea. Immediately. Can we give this cigarette? Any. Can we this meat? Uh, why? Control. Krishna says, patram kusvam phalam tayam. So we have to take prasadam, eat Krishna prasadam. Then naturally the other things will be negative. This is Pajya. Sri Ramu Saru Bhuta. So if all human being becomes vegetarian, not vegetarian, by eater of the Krishna's prasada, all these liquor house and slaughter house and brothels will be closed. This is Krishna consciousness. We want to close this nonsense. Places of sinful life, uh, brothel, uh, illegitimate, uh, sense gratification, sex relationship, prostitution. If we are uh, embarrassed with this sinful life, there is no possibility of becoming again a chuto. We remain chuto, false. We remain false. It is not so easy thing that I do everything, whatever I like. Uh, some rascals preach that, oh, religion has nothing to do with your eating. You can eat anything you like. And he still he becomes a religious man. It's all nonsense. Nobody can become a religious man <coughs> if he is attracted by sinful activities. That is not possible. You must stop sinful activities. That is first condition. Otherwise you cannot understand why people uh, perhaps in this Krishna consciousness, except this Krishna consciousness. 
All the rascals, they do not know what is God. They have no clear conception of God because they are sinful. We can give the name, address, and everything of God. Clear conception, not vague idea. God may be like this, God may be like that. Why may be? He is God. Vinam kannantam paravindadalayatasam varahavatam samasitam budasundaram kannatpa koti kavaniya visesa sobham govindam adipurisam tamaham mariyavati. Clear concept. The Shastra, Brahma Sangita, clear description of God. Vinam kannantam he is playing on fruit. Uh, it is not that the uh, Muralidha, Shamasunda, Krishna has been imagined by some poet. No. It is described in the Shastra, the form of the Lord. He is uh, busy in playing flute. Venum kandantam. <coughs> Aravinda Dalayata Aksam, his eyes are just like petals of the uh, lotus flower. Venam Kannantam Aravinda Varahavatam, sir. There is a pick of feather on his head. Kannatva Koti Kamaniya Vishesha Sobham. And he is so beautiful that his beauty can cut down. Thousands of cupids. Cupid is supposed to be the most beautiful in this material world. Kandapva koti kamaniya visesa sobham govindam adipurisam tamam mala. Clear concept. This is the description of God in the Shastra. And when God came, Krishna came on this planet, the same description. He is playing on flute. He has got the feather, keep up feather. So this painting of Krishna is not an artist's imagination. It is exactly the form. So here is the form of the Lord. Here is the name of the Lord. Here is the activities of the Lord. This is clear concept. The sadhu knows what is God. A sadhu cannot know. They are thinking, God must be like this, God must be maybe like this. He must be a very old man. Because Purusha. He is the first living uh, in this. So he cannot create God by imagination. That is not possible. God is God. All right. You have to know simply what is God. He is never of true thought. God never becomes fallen down from his original position. The original position is God describes himself, Matta Parataram Nagna. There is no more superior uh, authority than me. That is God. Uh, one, if he is controlled, how he can be God? God. The supreme controller is God. The supreme controller is Krishna. Ishara Parama Krishna. Ishara means control. And Parama means supreme. And who is that? Krishna. Krishna says also. Matta Paratanam Nanya in Jesus Vidhananda. So he is a chuta. He keeps his position. He never falls down. We are all fallen so. Because our position, our chuta position is he to serve Krishna. Because we are part and parcel of Krishna. The same example, just like this finger is part and parcel of my body. Its business is to serve the body. That is the business. There is no other business. Uh, a finger can pick up a rasugulla and keep it here. The finger cannot eat. Uh, similarly, we cannot eat directly. That is our disease condition. Uh, we have to offer Krishna. When Krishna eats, if we eat that, then we become energized. Just like you Rasagulla put into the mouth, when it goes to the stomach, the finger immediately begins ready. The finger enjoys. 
Not only the finger, the eyes enjoy, the leg enjoy, because the energy is distributed. Directly we cannot be energized by eating. We must eat Krishna's prasad. This is sinful. Jive Sarupa Nitya Krishna Das. So if we serve Krishna, that is our Achyuta position. If you deny to serve Krishna, that is Vichyuta, fallen condition. Achyuta and Vichyuta. So to become Krishna conscious means Achyuta Gotra. Achyuta Gotra. Gotra, but as you do not know, Gotra is the family uh, tradition. Uh, in, according to Vedic civilization, everybody has got Gotra. Uh, gotra means of the same family, uh, of the rishis, gotra from the rishis. So we have to become ochuta gotra, again belonging to the family of Krishna. Now we are fallen, therefore we have forgotten that we belong to the family of Krishna. Uh, when we revive our consciousness, Krishna consciousness, uh, that I belong to the Krishna's family. Uh, Krishna is not alone. He is a Bhushyama. He wants to enjoy. So we are family members of Krishna, not why. There is another aspect. Why Krishna should be alert? He is so powerful, so opulent. Have you got any experience that a powerful person, power, opulent person is alone? Where is that example? Any rich man, any powerful man, any king, any lord, oh, he has got so many associates. So how Krishna can be alone? Huh? Krishna is never alone. Therefore you find always Krishna with the gopi, Krishna is the cow has born, Krishna is Arjun, Krishna is never alone. Huh? So these are the conditions of becoming Achyuta. So, Arjuna knows all these things because he is a devotee. Therefore, particularly he is addressing Krishna. Srinaya Rubhaya Madhya Ratham Thapayam Achyuta. That's all. Thank you.